Dobra morning ladies, my name is Chaz, and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Custom Cards. In this video, there's, I'm gonna go over, a Dark Fiend. I mean, that's the name of the archetype's entire name. So the cards earned, it's, it is like a Dark World one. But instead of, like, a typical, like, you have to discard the cards to gain uh, their effects, kind? Their effects are on the field own. And plus, us, they also have graveyard effects that go off. So, I'll pick five of them. So, let's start with the field spell. D World of Dark Fiends. It's a field spell. All Dark Fiend monsters from your field gains this following effect for once per turn. This card's effects cannot be negated by card effects and attacks your opponent's life points directly. That's the thing about this archetype. Usually some cards have like the, if they inflict damage to your opponent's life points, and it's... They do some weird stuff. If this card is in is in your graveyard, you can sh add one or select one card from your deck to your hand. If you do, shuffle this card into the deck from anywhere, and then shuffle it, and then you can inflict twenty five hundred damage to your opponent's life points. So each, like the like this card, like you can inflict damage to your opponents. It's almost with all of them. So the number two is going to be Mirror Room of Attack. It is, it is like a support card. For the trap cards, but yeah, so it is like mirror force, and yeah, so but then the number two, this one is going to be once per turn during either player's turn. You can select one card from your opponent's deck and then your opponent must discard that. To select this card. This card gains that card effects. Yeah. Without paying the cost. So basically some cards have cost us, but that's okay. And it has a graveyard effect. Okay. Of if this card is sent to a grave, you can look at your opponent's hand and then you select two cards from it and then you can take them to your hand, inflict 500 damage to your opponent's life points for each card from your hand by this effect. If you do, this card is special summoned. To your field in defense mode, but its defense becomes double the points. So basically, it becomes four to eight hundred when it comes back. Plus, with Gaga Gego of Darkness, he he went through a weird transformation. 
but it's still named as the, yeah, this card's name becomes, is always treated as the Gago on the field or the graveyard, you can, yeah, if this card is in or normal summon or special summon, you can special summon two Dark Fiend Monsters. So, yeah, and this card gains attack points for each one. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle one card from your graveyard or hand into this, into your deck. Huh? Except this card. You can special summon this card from anywhere. Me, it's in my nose. But its attack points become double, so yeah. So then the Dark Fiend of Metal. I know it's a tuner. It's a wind. But it gains like or it like adds this porosmation to your hand. And if this card is fusion summon with or with a monster, it gains. Yeah, so then creates this. I know, metal turns into rocks. And then this one summons it back to use its like synchro thing to come into wind. And it gains, like. It destroys the entire field of your opponents. So then this one active adds a spell card er, that probably don't have it, but the it is called Darkness XYZ Spell Card. Or dark XYZ spell. Or, yeah. So it brings this card out. And then when it brings it out, it doesn't need, like, to have the, the disconnect effect the, or cost. Uh, to like use its effects so you could choose one and then the card and plus it also has a upgrade effect basically if you have a specific spell called puppet of darkness this card, you can send one unbreakable dark a fiend of metals from anywhere to your extra deck. Yeah, this is like a. They really need a card that is like, I activate this card. Now I'm gonna send one card. From my hand to the graveyard to link summon Mene Monster. This card is like link summon to one dark fiend of clay from your extra deck in attack mode. And then this. And then it here gain life points equal to that link monster's attack points. And from your field, and if this card is in your graveyard, your opponent is attacking your monster, you can banish this card. Yeah. It's basically protection and you gain. So this one, and you could use... Make a pizza pocket, 
it summons a monster, and then there's a card that's basically pretty powerful. It is called Dark Fiend Calling. Yeah, this card, you can special summon her. She is like a boss monster for this archetype. Two boss monsters that have... Yeah. Because this one allows you to draw four cards, add like that, and then summons her. But she also, like, can negate card effects. Like, yeah. So the... I notice there's some cards that are, like... Give you advantage of, like, I activate the, the spell card called Pot of Greed. No, no, you're not. I'm activating the Mystical Red Panel or whatever that trap card is. The one with a girl on it. The, with her on it. So, yeah. This one is for your opponent's draw phase. Both players gain 2,500 attack point. And this one, and you, if it's negated or it gets negated by card effects, you can select one card from your graveyard or banner zone to your hand. If you do, inflict 500 damage. This card's basically busted. Because if you had two of them, and you activate one after the other, or if you negate both of them, um, then both of them inflict, like, 100k to your opponent's life points. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can place it. Yeah, so basically, you could inflict 20 damage. I'll just say 20, because the same 2,000, or 2 million damage, and is pretty a lot. So yeah, this one that you all probably are being like, what the heck is this card? This is the retrained version for this archetype. It's called Dark Fiend Fossil of Darkness. This card's name is becomes Fossil's Dragon's Skullgon on the field or graveyard. And if this card... I kind of added, like, Dark World things to this, too. So you could special summon this card from your graveyard or banner zone in, in attack mode. If you do, shuffle all cards from your opponent's field and hand into the deck. Yeah. It's basically pretty powerful. And plus this one And, and plus, I don't know any cards that have this effect of, and it gains one more attack for each card from your de opponent's deck by this effect. This, yeah, so it's basically, I never actually seen a card that does this like or never seen the like the, the effect of destruction plus if it's sent or inflicts damage to your opponent's life points you can select two cards from their deck to your to the graveyard and if it does skip your opponent's draw phase 
your you can yeah so that's why the spell card this one allows them to boost you up so that you could take more and more and more cards away from them and basically not not allow them to play a game properly so this one is basically the retrain most of them are retrains of their counterparts like marauded captain gets war of darkness or warrior of darkness yeah so yeah this card is basically basically you could to destroy our cards and yeah core gives like effects and this one this one is the it is like that I forget the fusion it's like something with her uh, parasite fusion parasite but this one is if this you can reveal this card to your opponent and then you shuffle this card into their deck and if they draw this card or if this card gets drawn you can special summon it from it's basically like saying like they have to special summon it and destroy all cards from their from your field but their effects are negated till this card leaves the field this card can't be tributed for anything and yeah basically it's pretty broken and all monsters from your field is now treated as Dark Fiend monsters. So the trap cards in this archetype are weak to me. So each one is like this one. The I was going to make a Neo Spatian version or Neos from elemental or elemental heroes thing but i said no and i make a trap card that's like could special summon two cards and this run flex damage and can and be chained and these the this one is labeled after a trap card. This one is the dark version of the trap card. And then this one is Mystical Elf. I know there's a card that's called like Dark Elf or something like that. But this card is broken. It is treated as the, like the mystical elf. Oh, that who could give a crud. And yeah, this card you can pay one hundred light points to negate that card effect instead. And 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 end your opponent's turn. So basically if they do it on your opponent's turn, you are now activate. It's basically like skipping your opponent's turn. Earn. Earn. And if this card is yeah, so and then there's one card that's probably broken more to say
But the... Hold on, give me a moment. Oh, there. There. So the card that I'm trying to look for... Is... It's basically... Broken, but not as broken as like, yeah. So, yeah, and I'm. I said that I'm gonna do the dark hurt fiends because they're, and but I'm doing like the crazy people archetype too. This one is like could splash into any depth. So this one you could tribute three monsters to normal summon or men can't be normal set as yeah. It's basically like a cyber sky dragon but with a whole like you could flip it and you could special summon anything and each one is like different. So yeah. So now this is the end of the video. Please leave a like, share, subscribe. Before I start talking nonsense stuff. And if you guys really want me to do the because I already did Ben Ten things, but like, I did Ultimate, or Alien Hero Ultimate Cannonbolt, that is uh, similar to Cannonbolt, but on a whole nother level. Ultimate Jet Ray, or Alien Hero Ultimate Jet Ray, is basically the same thing as Ultimate Jet, or Jet Ray. And... The, yeah. And then this is like the ultimate chromosomes. Um, and you could pick one. And they all like basically need that card to do, do those three. But for Kevin Eleven thing, you just need... Kevin and with the one other material like heat blast forearms upgrade ultimate and even I even added the Like Alien Hero Rip Jaws Kevin. I think that's what I his name. Like basically they all have like forearm or basically all the aliens have like the Kevin at the last, like Heat Up Kevin, Forearms Kevin, Upgrade Kevin is basically like their counterparts fused with their yeah it's like how they do in the tv shows in the cartoons not the anime and yeah and then for this one you could fusion summon certain creatures to create like alien hero abomination takes five monsters and plus if they if this card is used and plus if it's was on the field or graveyard or hand you could activate one of these effects you could add like certain ones and yeah it's basically crazy how crazy
easier than my little puppy over here. So, yeah. This is your card if you like. Hold on. I'm going to do a YouTube short story, so stay tuned. So, bye.